I'll talk to you again here, pre-trib rapture moment number eight we have. And I want to tell you another big error that a lot of the post-tribbers like to make, and that is they believe that the books of Revelation are chronological. And in particular here, Stephen Anderson, I have a copy of his chart here. Let me put it up on screen for you. You see there he goes through the seals, and then at the sixth seal, between the sixth and the seventh seal, he actually shows the rapture happening. And he goes, you can see the scriptures here, he goes from Revelation chapter 6, verses 14 through 17, to Revelation chapter 7, verses 1 through 3. Now I just want to make a little point here. Look what he does. 7 verses 1 through 3, and then to 9 verse 9 to 17. Why does Steve Anderson skip verses 4 through 8? Let me tell you why. Because that's where the 12 tribes, and the 12,000 from each of the 12 tribes, that's where it comes in. The Jews. So Steve Anderson, in his demonic little chart here, his little satanic chart, he took out the Jews. And you want me to believe the man's saved? Sure. But he says there, he shows that Revelation chapter 7 comes after chapter 6. Let's see about that. Revelation chapter 7 verses 1 through 3 says, And after these things I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. Question, was the earth hurt at all in chapter 6? Revelation chapter 6, was the earth untouched that whole time? Let's see about that. Revelation chapter 6 verse 1. And I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard, as it were, the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts saying, Come and see. And I saw, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. And when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, Come and see. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. Let me stop there for a second. So in a time of conquering and war, is the earth going to be untouched? No, I think the earth would be hurt quite a bit with world war. Let's continue. Verse 5, Revelation chapter 6, verse 5 says, And when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast say, Come and see. And I beheld, and lo, a black horse, and he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, A measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny. And see, thou hurt not the oil and the wine. Famine, but the earth isn't hurt. Um... The earth being hurt is the reason that there is famine. Continuing, Revelation chapter 6, verses 7 through 8. And when he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth beast, say, fourth beast say, Come and see. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was Death, and Hell followed with him. And power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with sword, and with hunger, and with death, and with the beasts of the earth. But the earth hasn't been hurt yet. See the problem? Revelation chapter 6, verses 9 through 11. And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? And white robes were given unto every one of them. And it was said unto them that they should rest yet for a little season until their fellow servants also and their brethren that should be killed as they were should be fulfilled. So were these saints martyred before the 144,000 Jews are sealed in Revelation chapter 7? Uh, no. Obviously you aren't going to have this great multitude of people, these saints being slaughtered and 144,000 Jews not sealed yet. Revelation chapter 6, verses 12 through 14. And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake. And the sun became as sackcloth, black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood, and the stars of heaven fell unto the earth, 
and that even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs, when she, she is shaken of a mighty wind, and the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rowed together, and every mountain and island were moved out of their places. But the earth hasn't been hurt yet, apparently, if you believe in Stephen Anderson's ridiculous system. The books of Revelation are not chronological. Revelation chapter 6 is the time of Jacob's trouble from start to finish. It's a synopsis of the whole time of Jacob's trouble. The seven year period is what's going on there. It's not that it happens and then Revelation chapter 7 happens. No. Okay? But if you don't know the Bible, then you'll go through and you'll say, well, God showed me this and stuff. Maybe the God of the world showed him that. I don't know. But... Uh, Revelation chapter 6, verses 15 through 17. And the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bondman, and every free man, hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains, and said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us, and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? What is that? That's the second coming of Jesus Christ. That's why they're hiding. Okay? Revelation chapter 6 is the time of Jacob's trouble from start to finish. It starts out with the Antichrist being unleashed. It ends up with Jesus Christ returning to the earth. It does not go Revelation 6 and then you go into 7. Okay, that's the way the books are laid out, but it's not chronological. Read it. It's just simple. It's so easy to understand this stuff. The whole thing is that Stephen Anderson is ignorant of Scripture. And if you follow him, he's going to lead you astray. Especially because he took the Jews completely out of his timeline. I mean, salvation is of the Jews. Jesus Christ was a Jew. But you see, as a thief, he wants to take away the promises that God has for the nation of Israel. He wants to steal from the Jews. So he takes the Jews completely out of his warped little chart here. He takes them completely out of it. Just removes... The 12,000 from each of the 12 tribes. Because he can't handle scripture. Because he is demented. The books of Revelation are not chronological. Do not be deceived. <music>